I hope you appreciate the time and thought and energy that I put into this. <laughs> Actually, I haven't put any thought or energy into it at all yet. I don't know what we're going to do. I remember a while back there was a time that we were all like, come on DJI, we need a new update. Our drones are having some problems here. And then all of a sudden, update after update starts coming. Well, today's no exception. They've come out with a 1.13.10 fly-up update for the DJI Mini 4 Pro or for the DJI for the RC2 controller. I've installed it. it. Took me a couple tries, but I got it done. So that's what today's video is about. We're going out to a different location. Look at how low that plane is. Holy crap! I don't want to fly here. I think he's well well below 400 feet. What do you guys think? That's a Coast Guard plane. Wow, that's crazy. And we caught that on film. <laughs> Anyway, getting back to my story here, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of at a loss for words now. Well, by this sign, you guys can tell, well, I might have passed it, but by the road sign, you guys can tell that we're going to the beach. I know that it's 1139. We got a late start this morning. My dashboard says it's already 88 degrees, and my coffee cup is nearly empty. On a good note, as of today, I've got 72 days until retirement. <laughs> yep. Well, just kind of a heads up, when I was trying to download this 1.13.10 update on the RC2 controller, it couldn't find it right away. Like it took two or three times for it to even remotely say, yeah, there's an update. But I had to go the, the back way through the profile section in order to wake it up and to say, hey, I need, you, I need to force you to do this update. But I think that even took twice to do. So just kind of a heads up, if you guys aren't finding this update, give it some time, just keep trying it. And eventually one of these days it might pop up. I hope there's room down here for me to fly. I wasn't even thinking about it being a beach day, but look at all these cars that are here. Wow. Doesn't anybody have a job anymore? We just passed the house that Michael Jordan used to own, but off to the right here, I can actually see it. Vanilla Isis house is over that way in that neighborhood. Pretty sure that we've driven by it in a video or two. That's all the information you're gonna get. I've never been much of a tour guide. There's people everywhere on a Tuesday. Fire truck. Nothing. No, they saw me. <laughs> Holy crap, this place is packed. I'm flying here, I don't care what anybody says. Oh, there's a fire truck again. Is that the same fire truck or a different fire truck? We've arrived. <laughs> this isn't exactly how I wanted to park here, but I guess this is going to have to do. As you guys may have noticed, I'm going to use the orange side of the landing pad today. We got a comment the other day. I cannot remember from who, and I can't find it right now. If I do, I'll put, I'll put it up right here. But we got a comment the other day saying that the blue side may be affecting the precision landing for uh, Dwight. So we're going to see if today if that's going to fix the problem, because last time he was off a little bit. This is probably the busiest area I've flown in quite a while. This is the only pack I brought today too. That's cool. Remember, labels up. So easy. All right, I guess we can start getting things started now. There you go. I've got a screen recording up, but I need to turn the brightness up because it's kind of dim. All right, there we go. Now we're set. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty good view, Dwight. While we're waiting on Dwight to get his satellites here, I'm gonna hit the three dots and show you where we're at. Now, I've already gone through every one of these tabs and I've checked and made sure that everything was the same. Nothing seems to have changed, guys. That's kind of a spoiler alert, I know. You've probably already seen a video about it anyway because, again, I'm late to the party. But I just want to go to the About tab here and show you that we're using Dwight. His app version or the flight version is 1.13.10 and his aircraft firmware has been updated to 0600 and his RC firmware is, home point's been updated. His uh, RC firmware is 0200, so everything on him is up to date. All right, well, let me get Dwight on the back of the truck. We'll get him some more satellites, and we're going to explain. I'm going to explain what we're going to do today. Dwight, look how close to the highway we are. You better stick your landing. That's all I got to say. I don't expect this test to take too awful long today, guys. We're just going to do a few things. Hi, Dwight. You see my hand in the window? <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a signal test. We're going to go out a couple thousand feet. We're going to do a return to home test. We're going to see how his precision landing is, which we always do. And then we're going to do, I think we're going to do the hyperlapse with the waypoints again, but lastly, we're going to add in points of interest. Never tried that before, so that should be interesting. If I can't figure it out, sorry I disappointed you guys. Well, it's been holding pretty strong at 25 satellites for the last few minutes. So we're going to fly out here to the northwest, and we're going to try to stay low. We're going to try to stay at like 100 feet and see how things work. We've got some power lines. I don't know if you guys can see in the, in the video here. We've got some power lines that are right in front of the truck that are pretty low. If we get some interference, that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> Well, we're up to 26 satellites now, so let me get Dwight started and get him up to a 7 meter height, which is around 22 feet. His gimbal just is going nuts. What's up with your gimbal there, buddy? Why am I seeing your, uh, what are you doing? All right, I need to land him. <laughs> he's having some problems. I think he's straightened up now, though. 
All right, buddy, you're gonna land. What are you doing? Is it windy? Come on. We're gonna start this over again. <laughs> Let me get him back in the middle of the truck. Well, that's definitely not the start I was hoping for. I think we caught a gust of wind there. Let me get him started and get him up in the air. We'll go seven and a half or seven meters up, which is about 22 feet. Now he's solid. Let me pull the gimbal down a hair. Now he's getting his uh, picture at the moment, so I'm gonna leave him set there for just a second. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch him. So all right, I think he's I think he's got it now. So I'm gonna turn this way to where I'm turning turning just to the northwest. I'm gonna go up about hundred feet from here. And we're gonna just do a quick signal test. Make sure that you keep your eyes on that signal in the upper right hand corner or on the upper part of the uh, of the screen here. Alright, so we're up hundred feet. I'm gonna pull the gimbal down a little bit, and we're just gonna fly straight out. And we're gonna try to go maybe a couple thousand feet. I think I've got the um, max distance set at like a thousand, well, 1,950 feet or so. But so far, so strong. We're halfway there, or we're a quarter of the way there. <laughs> we're about 650 feet out. Perfect signal. He looks great in the sky. Yeah, he's doing good. I'm going to turn to the left just a little bit so I can steer clear of that highway. This is going to be a cool place to do a hyperlapse, I think, because there is enough traffic to there's enough traffic to see the hyperlapse or actually see it work. So we're almost 1,400 feet out, still a perfect signal. You guys can see I'm holding the controller up through the window to make sure that they got a, a good connection. So we're out 1,700, 1,800 feet. No problem at all with this, uh, with this signal. So we're going 1,928 feet. I actually set the, the distance to 1,946 feet, but I guess that she only, or he only wants to go 1,931 feet. All right, so now is the moment of truth. I want to turn all the way around here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. This is a really cool looking spot, but I'm going to also hit record. I want to record this return to home flight. Take a, take a look at this ocean. Take a look at the beach. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, now that we're turned all the way around, I'm going to hit return to home. I think that he's set in the optimal mode. Yeah, we got the green line, so he's going to stay. He's going to stay at this height, I think, until he gets back. He's definitely above those power lines, but I want to see how close he gets to the to the pad. I want to see him land on that pad today. I'm not going to touch any of the sticks because I was told also in a comment that touching those sticks, speeding them up, and things during a return to home flight is something that can be considered deviating from the precision landing. So we're going to avoid that. I'm going to get outside and I'm going to get the GoPro on top of him. Or I'm going to get the GoPro on him and see exactly where he lands. All right, man, well, you're getting close. Where's he at? There he is. I can see him in the sky right now. So he's coming, he's coming a lot, or uh, he's coming towards the truck. What, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Once he gets above the truck and he starts his descent, I'm gonna put the GoPro on him so you guys can see where he's at. We're still a few hundred feet out, and here he comes, he's closing in. There's an airplane that's, uh, way higher than we are. <laughs> I'm still 100 feet away. There's an airplane right there. Dwight is right over there. Oh, I'm getting bit by ants. I'm in an ant pile. <laughs> All right, so he's right above us. Let me pull him, let me uh, get him on the, on the GoPro and see exactly where he lands. I think he's gonna land pretty pretty close to where he's supposed to, but it looks like he's off in the, in the feed there. I got distracted because I was in those ants. All right, so he's a little bit off. He's coping for, coping for the wind, but I don't know why he's going that way. He should be kind of going straight down. All right, buddy, come on, can you land? Oh, it says area under aircraft, or area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Control aircraft to land safely. All right, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna land him, get him safely on the truck, and then we'll try our next test. So his, his landing here is still off. Like he's still about a foot or two off. So his precision landing isn't working like it should. We've really been having some trouble with our precision landing with Dwight. The past two update videos, he's been off. All right, so what do we want to do now? We want to get Dwight back up in the air and we want to do a hyperlapse. So let's get him up. Actually, you know what we could do? If I get him up to uh, 22, 22 feet again, maybe we'll do another return to home test. But uh, maybe we could do a droney from here since he's right over top of the truck anyway. Let me go to a little banner right there. Go down to quick shots. It's always on, I don't like it when I have, that comes up. It's always on Droney, so let me hit plus on the truck there. 
I want to go further than 80 feet. It says 80 feet. Normally, it says meter. Oh, down at the bottom, it says meter still. So we'll go 160 meters or 160 feet. So I'm going to hit start. Three. I can't see her numbers. Oh, her numbers. Her count is her count is still off from the se sequence of the numbers on the screen. So that kind of sucks, but I guess it's just something that we've got to get used to. All right, so he's backing up, and he looks strong in the sky. He's got a pretty cool reveal going on behind me here, huh? That is cool. That is a neat droney. I like that. All right, good deal. We'll get him back, and we're going to do a hyperlapse. I'm going to go just check hyperlapse. And I want to do the uh, waypoints because that's what I know. <laughs> so I'm going to set a waypoint here. I will not bore you guys with all with watching all this. I'm just going to get this set real quick, and then I'll show you the hyperlapse that, that, that it uh, provides. I like how she says that. Get to your first spot so we can see what you're going to do. I know you guys probably can't see him in the camera here, but he's right there between the first and second power line. All right, so we got six more pictures to go. And then Dwight will hopefully find his way back here. I'm not sure where he goes when he's finished with the hyperlapse, but he goes somewhere. <laughs> he's probably going to just stay where he's at. You guys see that uh, thing in the front there directly where he's pointing? That's where the dolphins are. That's really a cool spot to, to go to. So I think we're going to fly over there, and we're going to use that as our point of interest. Okay, so he's created the uh, video. So we're not going to watch the video yet. Well, yeah, we are. Let's watch it right now. I'm going to get out of that and go back to video. But I'm going to, I'm going to fly directly over there to Marine Land, over here to the right. And I want to use that as our point of interest. That's a really cool spot. Let me get up there. Well, one thing that stinks is it doesn't look like any of the dolphins or people are out right now. So that kind of kind of blows. But I'm going to draw a circle or a square here, right in the middle of that place. And I'm going to go point of interest because I've I've never tried this before. And I'm just going to I guess fly. Nope. I guess I need to go point of interest again. Point of interest, not spotlight. And go maybe. And I guess he's going to just fly himself. Oh, yeah, I think that's what he does is he just does his own little circle. I'm going to speed it up. Let me go fast. But he's, he's flying this whole route. I'm not doing this at all. This is, just, this is just the drone itself. I didn't realize that. I thought I had to fly. I guess I, guess I fly during spotlight mode. But he's doing a little loop around the, uh, around the arena or whatever you call that, the tanks. Yeah, I don't see any, any dolphins. I see some people out, though. I wonder where the uh, wonder where the dolphins are. There are people there, but that is really neat. I mean, I'm not doing a thing, and it's doing a perfect circle around the uh, point of interest. So there we are. You can see us at the home point there on the upper upper right hand corner. We'll just do a quick loop here. I think that's probably good enough. We've we've proven what it can do. Let me stop that. I'm just going to fly back to, back home. Let me hit uh, return to home, and we'll give him another return to home test. All right, Dwight. Prove that you can do it this time, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna get out real quick and get the GoPro on them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to avoid the uh, ants. He is way off. Look at his, look at where his home point is. I'm probably gonna have to cancel this because he's not even close. What's wrong, bud? Or are you? All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it go for now and see if he can find that home spot. It looks like he adjusted perfectly. He's having trouble with that wind, though. It's pushing him off a little bit, but he's fighting his way back. There you go, buddy. Now we're talking. That's almost perfect. That's almost where you took off from, so good deal. Maybe he was just confused at first. <laughs> well, guys, I got to say, I'm pleased with that flight. I know that the first precision landing wasn't so good, but it looks like he redeemed himself. Are you proud of what you accomplished today? <laughs> me too. Well guys, let me know in the comments if you think that today's Bible verse is applicable to the video that you just watched. I always try to find something that's relatable. And also regarding those empty dolphin tanks that we just did that circle around, if you wanna see a video where we captured some amazing dolphin footage where the dolphins were jumping and doing their tricks, click this thumbnail down here, you won't be disappointed. All right guys, I hope that you, hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, have a great week, God bless.